Hey guys, and welcome back to Interstellar Space Genesis with Neat Time and Tactics. Thank you for those of you who posted on the videos. I appreciate it. I read everything. And uh, there were some good comments there. And I know you can optimize more for sure. I got a comment about that. And uh, who was it? Horton who said that? Yeah, uh, for sure you can optimize more. I know. And I'm not, uh, you know, perfect at it. But, uh, you know, I optimize as much as I can, really. Um, so anyway, let's see where we're at now. Now... Oh, they have one uh, notification here. Negative ship support. Oh, ship support is not negative. This means, yeah, I can see that right here. No, not afraid of it. It's there. Negative. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do we have here? That means the Empire's infrastructure and manpower are currently not enough to meet the needs of your armada. And you will need to pay 10 billions of credits per negative <clears throat> per turn. Now, you can see that right up here. Negative 16. Didn't pay attention that last time. So that's a factor, right? Wow, okay. So we can't really get into more ships. No, we can fix that, though. Right, because here's what we can do. We have an outpost ship coming in here. If we put an outpost here, we will no longer have the cost of that outpost ship. Let me just see how much that is. I think I can see it here. Ship support uh, required. One ship support point. Right. We'll go down to zero. Let's not worry about the money. We'll keep it. By the way, the money, you can see here, if you go down to the second section, um, you can see, uh, what does it say? Here, negative 21.4 from research investment. And then below that, negative 7.1 from space culture investment. That's these values here. If I reduce this one here, you can see that goes down. Negative 14.2 instead. But let's not worry about that. We're going to have a ship over here we're going to convert it over to an outpost anyway and then you know what i think we actually have an outpost ship here right i'm tempted to send them over here right because we had these this wonderful medium asteroid belt if we do production here again right that's interesting right the accretion disk here is small but that's a good one Hmm, all right, well, we'll see what we'll do. We have an outpost here. This one going, okay. And then we have one here going there. We're gonna have to put a regular outpost here on the planet. I don't think I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna colonize it right now. Let's see here. It is a medium G world, that's good. It's swamp, not so good. Eco 2 is very good. Large is very good, but poor, poor production, huge negative modifier what do we get though overall here i think we can see it can we see that i thought i could see it you can see the individual modifiers here oh uh, that's no, this one here yeah it shows for all of them here yeah if i go to swamp biome here um yeah here so even though it's 25 percent reduction from biome eco maturity that one over here is bringing it up back up to basically negative five and then uh, negative five for pop growth as well. And then population cap is reduced from biome 25. Not bad, but so we, overall we're losing morale, which is production. We're losing pop growth and we are also um, slow production here. So I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to put a, I'm going to have to put a, um, Now, I'm second guessing myself now. I'm sitting here thinking, because here's what I'm thinking. Remember, there are two of these asteroid belts. What if we take both outposts here? Do we need to put a outpost here just yet? I don't know, because down here, isn't there going to be more uh, empires down here? I think there will be, right? It feels that it's more useful to put it there. It's also dark matter here. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Yeah, we have a ton here. We just should put one here and one on the other one. Let's do that instead. Okay, let's do that. We'll take both of them and put them in as outposts because on the asteroid belt. Because if you look at Earth, we'll go straight to Earth here and we'll look at what we get in production. How much is that of that is coming from asteroid belts? 24 from asteroid exploitations. And then because we have a robotic factory, uh, we get... Well, we can just hover over that here. Uh, it's a flat value for this right but then also plus 10 production per asteroid production exploitation coming from colony that's good and if we go and check out let me just check that out here what do we get 20 production flat yep right 
and then 10 extra production there. So the question is, how useful is it to get another 30, right? Quite useful, quite useful. We could boost our other uh, colonies instead. We'll, we'll see what we'll do. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, nothing else going on, no. You know what though? Dark matter, we have dark matter here. Hmm, right. Look at this one here, planetary anti-grav generator. With this thing, order one, which is one of our planets, can be fixed. We can get rid of that heavy G, heavy gravity. Move it down to medium G. And you can see that on order here. Well, they have little weights by their legs, right? Causing uh, them a negative modifier here. So heavy G gives us negative production, negative population growth, which is huge. If we can get something there to take that off, this planet is also large. Be very helpful. Now, what do we have to do to get that though? Well, this one here, unfortunately, is 28 turns. That's an awful long time. Should we maybe do something before then? I mean, I've done the weapons. I don't want the same kind of armor or shields again. Weapons, we could do more weapons. But maybe something like this one here, more morale on the colony. It's a good one, I think. Cloning facility here is also good. That's pop growth on a colony if you if you build this one. Ooh, yeah. We'll do both of those, I think. They're pretty quick anyway, both of them. And then we'll go down to this planetary anti-grav. Now, this means we're going to have to have dark matter at some point. But it's, it's a few turns into the future, right? I think that's all I want to do. And don't forget, you can look at all these values here. You can see right away we're doing building two things. And one is working uh, only one turn away for getting our level three in infrastructure. Now, let's see. Okay, we completed our work in the weapons field, fusion beam, which is an upgraded version of the laser, which means we would have to, well, that's right. If we want to refit, a lot of stuff happened here, but if you look at earth, remember how that works <clears throat> with refitting? If we make a new type of ship, or we upgrade a current ship to use that fusion beam, we have to refit, and to refit, we need a star base. A star base is 4,000. And you know, that reminds me just now. Remember, we are, have our one leader who wants this special thing here. The, uh, what is it you want? Uh, Galactic Industrial Conglomerate. And if we get that for her, anytime, doesn't matter, no time limit, she get, gets two extra in labor. And labor is production. And if we do it before turn 95, which we won't, yeah, we would get more opinion. If we fail, and you can see how you fail, it says right up there at the top, fails if any of the following occur. Construction is built somewhere else. It's a wonder. You can only build one in the whole galaxy, or the leader is unassigned from the system. So we should probably do this one. Now this one, though, that conglomerate on Earth, we have it researched, I think, right? Where is it at? We can select this button here. Yeah, there it is. We need three wealth, space culture. And space culture is just one up here. We have one now. We need to go down, you know, pick two of them, which we will do. We only one turn away from picking one. Okay, let's do that. So let's keep that in mind. And then after that, a star base, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take forever, but okay, we'll see what we can do. We found a boson star in sector A3. There's this one down here, right? Sector A3. And if you don't know what the sector is, you can just select here and look on the left side. Um, yeah, we can zoom in there and it's only on the bottom unfortunately and it should be up here too um a but it's pretty obvious uh, zero one two three here yep it's right there unexplored all right that's interesting and then we have a fleet report wormhole yep they connected from ibafix to that star okay and we found finally helium three helium three is very good um hmm that's interesting, right? Because I do want that. Now, if you go down to this one here, we have to make a decision, just like we did with the uh, uh, with um, Dark Matter, right? And we have Industrial Fusion and Militarized Fusion. These are techs. You don't get them right away, but you can research them later. You can look in the top right-hand corner. Seven turns, 16 turns, seven turns. Fusion Power Plants, what does that do? More production per pop unit in the entire empire. Per source of helium. If you get a lot of helium, but we don't have one. Or medical isotopes, more population growth. That was production, population growth, okay. Molecular refining, 5% revenue from trade trees. Or military, 
Travel speed, three parsecs per turn. Hmm. But you only need one source. You don't need anything else. Beam accelerator. More damage from lasers, which we have uh, per source again. And enhanced shields. But we want to find more. Do you want to go for military or industrial? Industrial, if we think we are not going to be at war anytime soon. Military, if we are thinking we need to boost our military. You know what? Let's go for the industrial. All right. Now, that means we have to go here and actually put an outpost on here. And then we can, uh, yeah. Yeah. You can see there, a Helium-3 mining outpost. You need that there. Didn't I say I was going to take my outpost ship and go up here and get that? I did say that, but now maybe I want to go here. If I go here, I can still reach down there, I bet. I mean, if I put an outpost here, it's going to extend our range down here. Here, nothing will be extended. Hmm, I'm thinking I want to go here now. <laughs> Change my mind. Uh, let's go up there with that one. Okay, that's fine. And now we have uh, skin level full in fix. Okay, that's good. And we have a survey ship here. Great, right. Because it says right here, one, negative one to remote exploration time in sector it is stationed in. Okay, increases chance of finding something worthwhile in ruins. So if we look here, it's only two turns for this one here. Hmm, yep, yep, yep. And there's three for these. Yep, okay. Let's go back out of that, right click, and then what else do we have? Infrastructure upgrade, yeah, right. Our smallest colony, Zero Step 3. Right, we're working on planetary engineering here. And planetary engineering is this one here. So basically, if you look at this one here, the green bar is planetary engineering. Within planetary engineering, you have two main uh, areas eco engineering and terraforming. Eco-engineering has multiple options. We only have one called Habitat Control. There'll be more later. So if we do this one here, we're going to now bump up from 100% eco-engineering boost from 50 to 100. I mean, that's 50 here. And terraforming as well. So this one here and this one are both being increased. So basically all the planetary engineering. And then what else do we get? We get 35 planetary engineering flat to all support ships in the Empire. Hmm... That's good, because our support ship, if it goes to Oiter, you know, that's the ship that can boost everything, basically. It will then increase also the population in Oiter, right? So that's pretty good. Also, we have an incentive here. Plus 15% planetary engineering on Empire if we get all three. Let's get this one. Ooh, we only have one more construction slot. Okay. Now, what do we do on um, this planet? There's only one slot left here we have a pressurized dome which helps us out you can see the little things on their head that's offsetting uh, you know the negative factor here and a robotic factory which gives us more production it's still nothing too great right if we were to send in a um, you know uh, one of those uh, asteroids fields that we know of that would be helpful wouldn't it now we could go for population anything above three though is not going to be extremely useful i could go for deep core I'm tempted to do that. Plus two production. We'll go for that. Bring this down. Oh, you can lock these, by the way. And uh, not lock this one, but we'll go there. Yeah. I can just lock it there or lock this one. Okay, but that looks pretty good, right? So 105, I guess, we're getting. Plus one from production overflow. Oh, okay. 12 turns. We'll go with that. We have got that. Okay, perfect. Now, level up. We can build an outpost on new Sugla. Okay, let's look at that. Oh, we left already. We could build one here, but I'm not going to do that. Now, let's skip it. Who is... Uh, oh, Chum Sluz has leveled up. Ah, that's all. Our military leader on the frigate. He's only, He only has a command level of one, which is a problem, right? Because that means that he can only just command ships of... You know, the small ship frigate. If we go to two... Destroyer is within range. Let's do that. I know the other ones will give us other skills, but let's do this one. Okay, so now he gets the option of two other uh, things he can learn. Sharpshooter basic, plus 10% ship attack to leadership. leadership. Ooh, that's good, right? Because that destroyer I'm going to put him on is pretty good. Ordnance basic, two, plus two missile weapon. Ammo. I don't think we have any missile weapons just yet. Let's go with sharpshooter. Okay, now, um, by the way, we are now at negative 7. 
What did we say here? Zero now. Okay, we actually gained one. Two from Homeworld, two from Colony's Infrastructure. Okay, that's probably why we gained. We had 13 before, I think. Anyway, negative seven. Still losing, but not too bad, right? Okay, so now we can reassign that guy. Can I reassign him here? I don't know if I can. I actually have to go here. And then pick him from here. Yes, we'll put him right there. So this ship here is our destroyer. Ship attack, 105%. The frigate has 130. Uh, but we have more weapons here, right? Ship defense, 75. Ship defense, 105. And they are also pretty fast. This one is pretty slow, but it's good. We have more armor, I think, to 20 structure and 10 armor. Five structure, five armor, right. Okay, well, we'll take this one. Now he's commanding that. Great. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's exit out of that. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. One more turn here. It's looking pretty good. 410, 113, 104. Yeah. So I want to get that uh, asteroid belt here. That medium asteroid belt right over where you here would be nice, right? And then this one here as well. Hmm. Wait a minute. If we put something, if we put an outpost here, a dark matter mining outpost, do we want to get that instead? Hmm. We get plus two dark matter to, uh, for the empire. I mean, so many things to consider here, right? Because this means if we put an outpost here, we get plus 0.5 billion credits per turn. And you can see that we're losing right now, so it'd be good to do that. Um, from interstellar, uh, interstellar tourism per population unit in our empire. So right now, seven. That's huge. And half of that from our allied empire's population. Zero, okay. For a total of seven. That's what we get. Plus two dark matter. Now, that means we're giving up the value of the medium. I mean, we don't have an outpost. Yeah, we really should be building more outposts, shouldn't I? Outpost ships, I mean. What do we say here? It's like Earth has built so many things here, right? Upper ship. Oh, we're getting one more. Right. Should I switch over to the starbase after that? No, wait a minute. Takes up a construction slot. Yeah, we have three, so that's fine. Mm, and maintenance is not going to be a problem, like somebody pointed out before, you know, because once we get this uh, line of the infrastructure we can then get basically 100% reduction in maintenance from buildings so that would be pretty nice hmm so if we do that outpost ship here now tend to do more outpost ships why not right as many as possible wait a minute frigate fleets we need that without frigate fleets you cannot have anything shipped back and forth we only have one right now so in order to do that we would have to switch over to frigate fleets right here these are the ones that don't show up as fleets they just show up here as a number right but if we drag this one up here only two turns to do that and then we'll do one more after this one there yeah nine turns to get that all taken care of okay that's fine so what do we say about the uh, surveying we've done that here let's go ahead and check that out there okay what do we get here anti-matter Plus, oh, this one. This one. We had antimatter. This one here, plus 0.25. Tourism. So that would be, uh, that was uh, Zinnia. Okay, yeah, here. These are pretty good, don't you think? We have two Astro Bells and there's these special discs here, right? We need to take it. I'll post ships and move them down there. I have so many options here. I feel like I'm behind on, on things that I, I need to develop, right? Exploit. Brown Dwarf. Grappus. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultra rich. Eco is good. Medium G. Small, that's fine. Desert isn't... But ultra rich is great. Eight per population. Small is not fantastic. I don't think you can make it do anything about that. That's really the most important value. That the size, you know, it's huge. If it's huge, you can fix everything else, basically. And there might be a special. We don't know. Okay, interesting. Um, what else do we have? Space culture level up? Yeah, here's the deal. To get that wonder, which I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do, but we'll, you know, we give it a shot. I have to get three of these. Uh, we have one. What do we pick? Astro Mining Guild. One smuggler leader appears or levels up. 50% production from asteroid production exploitation. I mean, we have found four, right? It seems very useful. Or this one here. Pirate leader. 
50% revenue from asteroid trade exportations. Trade money, right? And then production is production. Oh, um, I'm thinking production. The other one is money. Uh, but I think production is more important. We'll go for that. Wait. Um, that is per system? Well, we'll find out. Okay, done. So now we need to check and see. Yeah, we'll see what he is here. Uh, let's see, maybe later. And there's two of them. Okay, let's check him out. If we go here. So he's here. For hire. And then for hire. Ship. And a colony. <clears throat> Maniac. We have to look at him. I mean, there's just nothing uh, we can do about this. He will cost... Um... Uh, Nothing. That's John Squeeg, the gov. The governor, leader opinion four. Okay, we want that to be high. Administration four. Oh, I haven't hired him yet there. I guess I don't pay for him. No, yeah, that's right. That's why I don't, I'm not paying anything for him yet because I haven't, you know, hired him. So anyway, four leader, administration four, plus two tax revenue per pop on every colony in the system. On every colony. Well, that is good. And then 0.5 from taxes population unit per skill point. Oh, okay, that's why he gets two. And then corporate, what is that? 10% bonus per skill point. 40% bonus to production and trade asteroid exploitations. That must be in the system he's in charge of, right? We can hire him for 190. No, we can't. 83. Oh, see, that was a bad deal right now because I don't have the money. I'm losing money. This guy is impossible. Forget about him. That means their opinion is going to go down. This guy, maybe we could do, but I need to bring up my money to get him. So let's not get him right now. That's unfortunate, right? Because, hmm. But we have 50% production from asteroid um, production exploitations. So that's this one over here, for instance. You can see this one here. It's giving us a bonus now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's good. Um, what else do we need to do? Nothing else, right? Let's go to the next turn. It will fix... Okay, what do we say? Oh, we get another another um, outpost ship. And we can build an outpost on Eva Fix here. Yeah, I need to do that, right? I don't need a freighter fleet for this, but I can put it here, get helium. And we can still... This one can still bring in this one, and we can go down and find out what's down here. Yeah, let's go ahead and put one here. <sighs> because I said I was going to get... Well... The reason, you can see we have these here. Right, you need to build these. No, that's an achievement. If I research this one, all I have to do is research one of these and then go straight for fusion power plants or this one. Or this one, yeah. So that is actually very useful to get. Maybe I should skip this one there and then later we'll pick uh, one of these. Well, once we have them research here okay yeah let's do that okay so uh, where are we at then we built another outpost ship there okay we can get a freighter fleet that's good let's take him then and put an outpost ship on there build outpost right here now we get the helium now we're going to take advantage of it it's good so with that we can reach all the way down here okay that's not too bad actually our fleet is sitting here wait a minute we don't need to have Oh, I sent all of them. I guess I did. Which is fine. Which is fine. I was going to send them down here. I? We don't know what's here yet. <laughs> okay. I need to make sure you select the right ship to when you navigate. Okay, that's fine. Send them down there. And then they come down here instead. Now, the survey ship. Survey there. What are you saying? Yeah, one reduction. One turn reduction. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and send him down. No, I'm not going to send him down here. You gotta be careful when you first come to the system make sure you don't send somebody who if they don't have any weapons and they get attacked by a space creature for instance they could be they're automatically eliminated you don't want that we'll stay here with him for a while um got that negative support right i keep thinking about that well these are outposts they're going to be changed into yeah actually look what happened negative ship support right that's what he said yet we don't have negative because I just converted one outpost ship into one outpost. So we're not going to have to worry about that. In contact, 
The Sulak. I didn't even miss that. Okay. What do we have? All right. Hey there, President Hiram. It's great to see you again. If we didn't know better, I would think you have a thing for us. Okay. I thought it was the first time. Have you ever business or pleasure? Notice there he's pleased. That's good, right? I mean, imagine this. I have a treaty proposal. They cost money. But didn't we have a special research skill? I think we did. A research we can do to get, generate money for that. Or gift, demand, let the war begin. Yeah, what if we do the treaty? You profit from trade. What do we get for that? Both empires secure an expense of six, right? Yep. And then once it's established, we get up to nine. Now, this is probably somebody who is going to be... Yeah, you can see his values here. We might get in trouble eventually. But you know what? Let's put in... Let's do a trade. Let's see if we can get that. Okay, yeah, they did that. Yes, we know all about swapping things. Sounds like a plan. Let's say goodbye. Um, hmm. No, nope, never mind. Um, we could trade with him, actually, more. Let's look at them here. Pleased. Hmm. Okay. That's good. So they are down... Oh, they are here. Okay, that's a good one, actually, to be friends with, I think, because it's not down here. That's not bad at all. Okay, that's fine. Well, what else? Outpost done, uh, done. I think I'm going to go to the next turn. Okay, good. What are we looking at here? Freighter fleet. Okay, complete our work in the economics field. Medbay facility. Planetary improvement. Once we do it, we get 15% morale production on the colony. Medbay facility. Okay, so that's this one here. Right. Now we're doing cloning for four turns. And then I want to go for the fusion. I want the production, right? Negative 10. Ooh, it's getting expensive here, right? But you know what? That's because we have a trade treaty. Once we get that fully developed, we're going to be making money. Let's go for fusion power plants, more production. And then we'll go for molecular refining and then planetary anti-graphic generator. Now, that was our second space culture, right? We are four, 41 turns away. Okay, somebody was mentioning um, oh, I should be focusing on getting this up. Maybe. Let's see what happens if we try to do that. We really try to max it out. If I bring this down completely and then bring this up here. Remember, 41, we gain six turns. It's early in the game, right? But I'm losing so much money. You know, I could also go like this. Increase the tax. That means production is going to be reduced, right? You can see the numbers going down, 3 to 5. We're siphoning off from our systems. But now we are seeing a bit of an increase, right? I go to 50%, uh, 30 turns. But it doesn't seem worthwhile. If we go down to... If I go to zero and bring it up to 30 and bring it down to 10, where, where am I sitting at then? 18. But I had bumped it up, right? 455. Is it more important to get these things done? How many turns? We have deep core, one turn. Deep core, nine turns. If I bring this up, so we have now one, one, nine. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Right now, anyway. Goes up by one turn, deep pro mine. Yeah, we'll put it that. We'll leave it that for now. Okay, still more time needed here. Okay. Are we sitting... Uh, what are we doing here for this one? That's a survey ship. Yes. I'm waiting. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it there. And then, uh, what do we have here? Support ship free. He's sitting in order. Right. And that's why order is going to have 185 instead. You can see that here where it is at the bottom right yeah 72 production from support ships really very nice right right really really super thing to have deep core mine is going to increase our production here quite a bit right now 6.25 it's going to go up by what is it two yeah two so we're going to gain two you know so for every one there so that's going to be really quite quite good for every population there okay yeah great let's go to the next turn all right it's our uh, turn turn 80 and yeah turn 95 remember that conglomerate we're gonna build right <laughs> uh what did we say 40 that's a long ways away um we get a freighter fleet wait a minute 
We're here. Oh, that's right. My outpost ship, I should send that down here. Now, the freighter fleet is ready. We're losing here. That's money, right? But let's not worry about that. Let's instead go in here. And then just put a uh, call an outpost. But which one? Right. Get money. And dark matter. But do we need that right away? I don't think we do. It's better to do um, the medium astro belt. I think that's a pretty solid. So um, this one is small. This one is medium. Okay, we'll do the medium one. And then we exploit. It's going to take a while to activate that. You can see that two turns. Need one freighter fleet. Uh, we have two. Um, okay. Zero freighter fleets available. Transport population to Chicago for a total of two. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's unassigned. Wait a minute. It's unassigned. We should um, take a look at that right away. Where do we send it? Basically, the stuff that's coming in. More to Earth? Well, it's a multiplier. Multiplier, right? Isn't it? Um, you know, the robotic factory. No, that's a flat value. What do we say about the robotic factory here? That's flat. Um, mm -hmm, plus 10 production per astro production exploiting coming to a colony. Mm, you see, that's not... We don't really need it here, then. I say we send it to Oider. Oider is slightly better than the Dio step, right? Let's go ahead and do that. So we have uh, here, unassigned. Let's send it to Oider. There. I think that's good. What else? Okay, so we did complete that. That's what we have two. And then we have uh, Deep Core Mine in order. Yeah, great. 204. It's not bad now. We're not building anything. What can we have? Four more. That's good. Um, we don't want to build the Wonder. Um, this one here is good. Two turns. Plus 10. You know what? This is going to help us a lot. If we put this one uh, down here, we get 10 space culture production in the colony and two for popping colony as well that's very tempted double bonus with a galactic amusement park wonder we'll put it in two turns is nothing and that's going to uh, speed it up a little bit here we may want to do that on earth too right the game is deep uh you probably noticed five turns to get the freighter fleet if i put that i have three left right um what do i have oh i already have it right that's what somebody recommended, right? I think a couple of episodes back. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, it's a good one. I like it. I like it. Uh, what else do we have to do? Well, we have uh, Deep Core Mine done. Negative ship support. Nope. We did get another outpost. And then, yeah, outpost there. The Zinnia, we're going to do the same thing. Um, what are we doing now? Support ship just sitting here. That's all they do. We're sitting here. Wait a minute. We shouldn't do that. We should set them down here. We can send them down, you know... Um, uh, one by one, spread them out if we wanted to. Do we want to do that? Maybe, uh, maybe we'll do that. Then we'll go over here. Yeah, let's see if we can do that. Hmm. Yeah, okay, it's looking good. Diplomacy action the Sulak existence of broken award and a treat. What? Okay, what is going on with them? Pleased. I think it's temporary. You know, I think they're going to be okay. No trade. You can see that here. See the color here? Trade. Minus one. That's still fine. Okay. Well, they. Mm. Uh, cultural exchange complex completed in colony order one. 31 turns. Huge. Huge. Now, that is an extremely valuable thing to get. Right. What if I get that on the step as well? Well, I can only have... I can't have anything else. These are the only two we can have. Three, I mean, yeah. Uh, we need to bring that up uh, by getting um, infrastructure. Right, for every one infrastructure, you get that up. So, uh, well, I have to wait for the equal mine, then we'll switch over to infrastructure, I think. Right, right. And then, finally, exploitation production, now active in... Yeah, right. So, orders are receiving that now. 284. Really quite... Uh, good there on order. What are we getting there? Nothing. We're going for production now. Hmm. So should we keep on producing? We have three slots left. Med Bay, plus 50 morale, on, percent morale on Colony. 
and that would be impacting our uh, production right away right that's huge actually and then that's the med bay starbase here now I don't think so we don't have three slots yeah I don't think we're gonna do that but I may want to put that med bay two turns we'll do it okay so there you go guys we are at time here so I'll stop for this time but uh, let me know what you think and um, yeah the game is good as you can tell the you know they have done a really good job it has all the good stuff that you want a game and it, it's the type of game that I like anyway so it, it's really quite good we'll see how it goes here for me but now we met one more race what should we do with them well they broke our treaty but let's see what we can do next time come back then we'll play more of ISG I guess